Welcome, this is the Happy Number Pi Day Challenge. As we all know, 3.14159 da 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 is approximately equal to pi. That is, that number is non-repeating, non-terminating. So the digits go out forever and they never have a pattern. And in my lifetime, that is closest to March 14, 2015. Because that doesn't happen very often that we match the digits of pi so well. And in particular, I'm looking at the 9 o'clock hour as being the happiest hour on Pi Day. And I'll show you why. I'm going to look at the consecutive digits of Pi. 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 9. And I'm going to determine if they're happy or not. So I'll start with just the number 3. Now, to a happy number is defined as a number such that when you square the digits and take the sum repeatedly, you eventually get to the number 1. Otherwise, the number is considered melancholy. So let's start. Let's determine if 3 is happy. If we square the digits, we get 3 times 3, or 9. Squaring those digits, I get 81. And squaring those digits, I would have 64 plus 1, that would be the sum, gives me 65. Squaring these digits, I'd have 36 plus 25, and that would give me 61. Squaring those digits, I have 36 plus 1, or 37. Squaring those digits, I'd have 9 plus 49, or 58. Squaring those digits, I have 25 plus 64, or 89. Squaring those digits, I have 64 plus 81, or 145. This time there's three digits, that's 1 plus 16 plus 25. And so the next number in the sequence would be 42, that is the sum. And then squaring those digits would be 16 plus 4, which is 20. And squaring those digits just gives me 4 because 0 squared is 0. And squaring those digits, I get 16. And that would just give 1 plus 36 and take me back to 37. So notice if I was going to repeat this, I'd square the digits in 37 again to get 58, 89, and I would continue in this loop. So I didn't get to the number 1, and therefore the number 3 is called melancholy. It is not a happy number. So this time, let's look at the next one. The next consecutive digits would be um, 31. So I'm looking at 31. All right, so I square the digits, I'd get 9 plus 1. This is 9 plus 1, or 10. And that would just give me 1 plus 0, which is 1. And so I have my first happy number in the consecutive digits of pi. Awesome! So now let's look at the next one, see if pi is a really happy number. We're going to look at 314. 314. This time I'd need to square 3 to get 9 plus 1 plus 16. That gives me 26. Squaring the digits would be 4 plus 36, or simply 40. Squaring the digits would give me uh, 4 squared is 16. Okay, and squaring those digits would be 36 plus 1, or 37. Squaring those digits would be 9 plus 49, or simply 58. Squaring those digits would be 25 plus 64, or 89. Squaring those digits, I'd have 64 plus 81, or 145. Maybe this is looking familiar. Squaring would be 1 plus 16 plus 25, which is 42. 
And squaring those would give me 20. And squaring those would give me 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Squaring that gives me 16. And squaring that gives me 36 plus 1, 37. Uh-oh. We're in the loop again, so we have another unhappy number. <laughs> All right, but let's keep going. Now I'm going to look at 3, 1, 4, 1. This time I have 9 plus 1 plus 16 plus 1. And that would give me 27. Squaring both digits, I would have 53. Squaring both digits, 25 and 9 gives me 34. Squaring both digits gives me 9 plus 16 or 25. Squaring both digits gives me 29. Taking the sum, 29 would be, oh, 4 plus 81, so that gives me 85. Squaring both digits, I get 64 plus 25, which is 89. Looking familiar. Squaring both digits gives me 145. Squaring all three digits, 1 plus 16 plus 25, I get 42. Both digits squared gives me 20. Both digits squared gives me 4. Both digits squared gives me 16. Moving very quickly. Both digits squared gives me 37. I'm not going to get back. Uh, next, third squared gives me 58, and then finally back to 85. Oh my goodness, another melancholy number. So the next one we're going to look at is 31415. 31415. Put my paper here. It's getting messy. Three, one, four, one, five. Goodness. So we have uh, nine plus one plus uh, sixteen plus one plus twenty-five. You add all those up, you get fifty-two. Squaring both digits, you get twenty-nine. Squaring both digits, I'll be four plus eighty-one or eighty-five. Looking familiar. Squaring both digits to get 89. Squaring both digits to get 145. Yes, that looks even more familiar. It looks like the same loop. Squaring all three digits to get 42. 42. Squaring on both digits, easy, 20. Squaring both digits, 4. Squaring both digits, 16. I'm moving back around. Then we have 37. Then we have 58, and then back to 89. So yet another melancholy number. But don't despair, don't despair. We're going to look at 314159. 314159. I'm going to copy that a little bit. <laughs> so, squaring all these digits would be 9 plus 1 plus 16 plus 1 plus 25 plus 81. Add all those up and you'll get 133. That would be 1 plus 9 plus 9 and that will give you 19. Then, uh, 81 plus 1 gives me 82. And 82 uh, would be 64 plus 4, or 68, which gives me 36 plus 64, which is 100. And we are back to 1. All right, so we found another happy number in the consecutive digits of pi. And lo and behold, this happens on 3 March 14, 2015. Yes, at 9, 
Oh, clock. <laughs> and that is the happiest hour for mathematicians. My challenge to you is to find the next consecutive digits in pi that will get us to a happy point again. So thank you. Enjoy.